Oh, I did it! We got ourselves the uh, last uh, combat 99 outside of her. Sick. That is pretty sick, boys. 99. I guess I can go back to last training, but... Yeah, man. No more combat 99s, though, unfortunately. But we can still work on some prayer, you know. Cherry Hydra, but... Yeah, that's about it, you know. Mm. Oh my god, first word of the day, bro. We got a purple. What? So the secret is to do the scuff raids, you know. Not the most efficient layouts, but the scuff layouts with vanguards. It's always about the vanguard raids. Alright, boys. Here we go, man. Give me the augury, boys. Dex girl again! It's kind of like a, you know, somewhat of a troll, you know. We're getting a lot of purples. A lot more than I should be getting. But, damn, imagine three deck scrolls already. Nani? What? I can't believe it, my claws failed me there. Alright. For those of you that have been picking up ancient shards, there's a decent use for it, you know? Teleporting across to different areas. Oh shit, I just got 87 farming. Yeah, I should actually be able to grow a red retreat, because I can uh, just boost to grow this. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a lot of points too, and uh, of course, crazy farm XP. How many red wood trees do I have, I wonder? Ooh, damn, I got four. That's fat. Alright, okay. We're gonna try our first ever speed run, just because I found a really, really cool layout here. I had the opportunity to modify my inventory just for this. So Fitzpula into tightrope, into tecton, into fossil, into crabs. This is a good crab room as well. So yeah, if, if I get some pretty decent RNG, I could smash my uh, personal best by quite a lot of 28 minutes. Alright, we should be fine. Damn, I should have brought my Din's Borrow for this. But we shall be alright. That's fine. Oh no, I fucked up! No, I don't have my room pouch! I guess these boots are good to wear for the crystals too. I believe the boots have stab accuracy, right? So I guess I don't even have to switch to room boots for uh, the crystals. It's here somewhere. Oh ho ho my god, look at this boys. The spirit tree, the holy mother of all XP other than the redwood. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, almost a hundred thousand experience. <gasps> Yo, that's crazy. So, I can switch between Sulfur Lizards and Diagonauts, I guess, for... Uh... Oh, there it is, Medium Clue. See? Easy. So, we're, we're switching things up. So, a bit more than just Blood Vills and Dust Devils. Because, <laughs> yeah, more variety, the better. There's some interesting Medium Clue rewards I can get that could help with raids, like the God Cape. It has a 1 Magic Accuracy, which is sick. You know, I'll take any Magic Accuracy possible. And some Prayer Bonus. So, it would be a... Pretty, pretty good best in slot. And there's a chance I could get manacles, which is best in slot strength boots. Four strength over the, the room boots, two strength, so. Yeah, I'll probably do some me medium clue grinding towards 95 Slayer for those chances. I've heard from the boys that a chance of getting any god cloak is a mere 1 in 47 medium clue, so that's quite realistic. It's not bad. I can probably get myself, you know, up to that amount before 95 if I kill these guys. There we go, 92 Slayer. Let's freaking get it, boys. Three more to go. Um. Oh, fucked. You know what? I'm just gonna save this clue. Uh, I'm gonna try to get to 76 smithing tonight, actually. Since we're gonna be doing a lot of mediums anyways, I might as well just go and get the smith the uh, full home. Alright, this is gonna get me to 65. Oh. Close to too early, but yeah, I want to get to the 76 smithing so I can boost for the Addy Fulham for medium. So uh, I'm going to try to train my smithing through the, uh, what do you call it, Sanction Armor Set. Those are basically the best smithing experience available in Twisted League, so let's go and do that. So I did some Lava Kite Mining, but it's, it's going to take a while uh, through that method because I only have 5x. I need like 400 more bars, so instead I'm gonna get the rest of my XP through my ores. I'm just gonna make uh, mythal bars and addy bars and just train smithing that way. 
So yeah, I got a bunch of nature runes so I can speed up this process a little bit faster. Try and do this through the furnaces eight, but yeah, I got a ton of nature runes and I don't have to worry about running out, honestly. Nice, 73 smithing. Oh, that's awesome, that's a good one. I can now make the adamant bolts, so. Yeah, on the way to the helmet, I have unlocked the bolts. They'll probably come in handy when I uh, do use some enchanted diamond and ruby bolts for things. All right, let's deliver this. We got ourselves like 15 sets. Oh, 185,000. Oh my God. Wait, what? I got mining experience for that too? Nice. 76 smithing. Let's go. It was actually a lot slower than I thought I'd get this level, but we can finally get on with this medium clue grind. Yes. Feels good, man. Every single step of the medium clues never fails ever again. So that's nice. I need to get a Zami item actually, because I, I want to grow some grapes in the future. No Zami item yet though. What's next? Oh my god, f off, man. I get the Adamant Full Helm 20 minutes after I make the Adamant Full Helm. Double kill. Nice, that was sick. Oh my god, that was exactly like at the same time. Oh, that flame wall. I'm so glad I I just kept that in the back of my head. Alright, man. We're going to do some duo solo raids. And, uh, yeah. We're going to do it with the boy Cold One over here. So, I am doing a method that I guess people would call it the duo solo method. Yeah, oxymoron, right? But, basically, we're doing the solo strategy except it's with two people. So... It's, I would say, even harder than just doing solo raids because you have to synchronize with your friend. But, oh man, it is super fun when you have a friend that can, you know, do it with you and not mess up. So, ah, uh, probably, oh shit, nice, dude. We, we basically never have to go the other side just because one of us is bound to hit something. <laughs> no, okay, okay, we can do this. Yeah. Oh, that was sick! Yeah, I got burnt. Rip. <laughs> uh, trying to, yeah, trying to try to stop the flame from spreading, dude. Coleman's doing a pretty good job right now. <laughs> Stopping the fret from spreading in between the ticks. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so troll, dude! Dude, the ohm just knew when we were gonna literally combine like transformers, dude. Back in the day. Oh! <laughs> I got a purple! Yeah, what'd I get? I got a twisted buckler? Yo, what the f? <laughs> Yo, I got a twisted buckler. So, the twisted buckler is actually our sixth unique from the Chambers of Xerx, which means out of the 12 possible uniques minus the pet, I'm halfway done. And the buckler is actually pretty damn nice. Well, uh, to be fair, there's not a whole lot of items you can get in the Twisted League. So every little unique has some uses. But yeah, the Twisted Buckler is going to be an amazing addition to my raid setup. Bruh, double type rope. I haven't seen literally a single double type rope ever when I was scouting for my own raids. Alright, I'm going to try to entangle it right now. Oh, baby. <laughs> We got it, boys. <laughs> All right, that's that's some good shit, bro. We did it. <laughs> oh, what? I just I'm lagging. Hello? Fuck! I just lagged. I can, dude. You too? No. So I'm back at winter time because it is pretty AFK. So. Yeah, if I'm just chilling, I might as well get this 99 out of the way. So as you can see in my inventory, I have about 4 crates. I'll be getting 5 crates. And I stayed here pretty much uh, using the regen brace only. And whatever prayer I had with me, which was, you know, my base prayer. So yeah, it's pretty nuts. I can stay about, from the looks of it, 5 trips or so with just 84 prayer. 
and the regen brace. So rapid heal combo. It's it's so nice, man. All right, so I'm doing Winter Todd a bit differently than the normal. I'm not using the uh, the major world that everybody is you know centralizing at, because I'm going for drops more so than XP. Fire making XP is super easy to get. Yeah, I'm just racking up hella points. There's probably like uh, two other people here. The games last longer, and that means I can rack up a lot more points for more rolls. Nice, we got 98 fire making. Oh, I got it. Wow, that was so easy. Just wanted to get myself some shade bottoms so I can uh, rapid heal a little bit more efficiently at the winter tot, you know, with the regen brace. Need some prayer bonus. Uh, yeah, these shade robes are pretty nice. Getting here was confusing as fuck. But yeah, look at that prayer bonus though. Uh, I gained four from that. Yeah, sick. Oh shit, there we go. Yo, I just hit 99 fire making, brother. <laughs> yeah. So I just hit 13,000 points, which is a good safety net for staying in Dragon Rank. But uh, I'll probably try to get 25 million fire making XP uh, in a bit. Just for more chances at the Tome and for more points. The Tome is going to be really important for speed running if I can get it. Alright, I'm about to end this game. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. Game ended. Been here for like about an hour. As you can see the points earlier, it was like, I don't know, 11,000 or something. Let's open this up. Uh, but hey, tons of rewards though. This is an easy PB for sure. 46 seconds. Alright guys, we have ourselves a new setup here. So... The Twisted Buckler is actually going to be quite useful, so... Especially at Fispilo. I've had some, you know, encounters at Fispilo where... I just can't hit the portal and I almost reset the entire room because I can't kill on time. Before the Globes hatch, but look at this massive accuracy boost onto my range. 20 out of like the 150 I originally had. That's a huge boost. And it's also pretty decent tank as well for magic. As you can see, my magic went up, so it's really good as skeletons as well when I'm running to lure them. Um, yeah, there's there's some applications for sure, man. I can probably even do like MSB shield switch for the magic defense as well, so. But the main thing is definitely going to be at Fispilo though, for sure. Nice, holy shit. Nice, two claw specs got it down to 60%. We're just gonna go with the Twisted Buckler, uh, Twisted Buckler tanking here, cause, uh, it's overall just more tanky. And it has more magic coverage. It does have some really, uh, strong negative melee, but I'm ranging, so I don't gotta worry about those. I haven't even gone to Vespula yet with the Buckler, but I'm already finding so many cool ways to, uh, use the Buckler. So, I've already showed you Shield Flicking with the Dense Bulwark. But uh, anyways, the Twisted Buckler is really nice because I can shield flick with that too in the agility room too. Uh, both the Majors and the Rangers because the Buckler has good range defense and good match defense. Hopefully I get some rune arrows, man. That'd be good. Oh, yes, the prediction. Oh, I got him. Nice, dude. The claw save, bro. That was lit. That was lit, boys. I've done a few Fispilas now with the Twisted Buckler, and oh man, that 20 extra accuracy is such a big help. I'm packing damage on that portal. The Grubs are nowhere near close to hatching, like ever in any of those instances. So that's amazing. Oh, yo, let's go. Yes, finally, boys, we got ourselves a casket, you know. There we go, man. It's been a hot minute since I've opened one of these. We got a nice little milestone here, 90 farming. So now I can plant my future redwood trees without having to boost for it. Convenient. So I think it's about time to wrap up. But before I go, I just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you guys need a place to hang out, you know, while you're uh, gaming in RuneScape, my French chat is open and Mr. Iron Bar are all, all welcome. And if YouTube content isn't enough, you might want to consider checking out my Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash ricecoat. There I stream all the behind the scenes on my accounts, you know, in which I make the progress and stuff. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you don't want to miss out on the next episode of the series and future videos. Really important. 
Anyways, I hope to see you guys soon. Take care and bye-bye.